babes in today's video i'm going to be attempting to cook five nigerian soups with just ten thousand naira. i know you don't believe me so come along let me show you the ingredients and the price list. this is 20 pieces of banla for three thousand naira. we also got this egusi for 800 naira for 500 naira for 500 naira we got this ugu for 300 naira Hans for 200 naira Periwinkle for 500 naira is for 100 naira is 1000 naira 750 for obono pay for 1200 naira this bottle of palm oil for 750 naira water leave for 200 naira and finally this bunch of vegetables for 500 naira which begs the question can 10,300, let's just say 10,000, cook a pot of soup in Nigeria? What am I even saying? Five pots of soup. Come along, faves. Let me show you some magic. Join me on this series as I show you how to make five Nigerian soups with just 10,000 naira. You'll be shocked. You'll be amazed. It's going to blow your mind. Five Nigerian soups with 10,000 naira. <music> Welcome to our low budget soup series. In this series, I'll be showing you how you can make five Nigerian soups with just 10,000 naira. It shock you, my dear. It shocked me itself. Okay, so let us begin. First thing we're going to do is to remove the stem from our vegetable. This vegetable, we got it from an open market for 500 naira. This might vary depending on where you are buying yours from. But this is what we got for 500 naira and I think it is fair. Even though this used to be like 100 naira back in the days before the inflation eats everywhere. But anyhow, as long as if they like, let them increase the price of vegetable to 1,000 to 2,000. The children of God will still eat. Okay, so once we are, we're just going to continue to remove the stem from our vegetable like this. So, so that eh, when we want to slice it, it will be easy for us to slice. Okay. Once we are done with all this serere of, you know, removing the vegetable from the stem, we're going to proceed to now cut this into smaller sizes like this. You can see how I'm cutting it. You don't want to cut your vegetables too big so that they don't look like meat instead of vegetable in your soup. <laughs> that can be very very funny just cut it small small like this you know some people prefer to rinse their vegetables before they cut while some cut after rinsing which one do you do my faves oh yeah tell me in the comment section so that i can know me welsha i usually rinse after i cut in fact i don't rinse i just blanch immediately but some people will first of all rinse their vegetables then they will now proceed to cut it and then blanch it mm, i feel like that is long work so me oh i don't rinse i just cut it like this and i blanch it immediately like so please if you are new to this channel now god i say beg you help me subscribe to my youtube channel okay like this video and share to your friends and family once we are done cutting we'll transfer it into a bowl and this is what we have we're going to proceed to blanch this with some hot water just pour some hot water over your vegetable like this allow the vegetable to be submerged in that hot water you want all of that hot water to cover it and then you're just going to stir it a little bit some people do this on fire but i do not like to do mine on fire i just like to pour the hot water allow it sit there a little bit for a while just turn it around until i feel like the vegetable is soft enough then i'll take it out of the hot water and then I'll proceed to transfer it into some cold water. You can see that this is really hot. Yes, so I'm just going to sieve the vegetable out of the hot water and transfer it to some cold water so that the temperature of the vegetable is maintained and the colors and the greenness of that vegetable. This is why they call this vegetable green because it is green. Don't over blanch your vegetable such that it has lost its color and vibrancy. Once I have transferred it to warm water, another like room temperature water i'm going to squeeze it out so that there is no excess liquid in my vegetable when i am cooking so you want to do this squeeze it out 
like so when cleaning your vegetables eh if one is not being careful you can pack sand alongside with your vegetable and there is nothing more annoying than when you're eating vegetable you just jam sand like that like it is so gross i don't like it so my faves eh you need to let go of some of those vegetables those ones that are usually at the tail end just let them go and this is the final result now let's move on to the protein my faves no meat for this one no now panla fish we they use we got 20 of this panla fish for 3000 naira so four of it that's what we're going to be using and which is approximately 600 naira so we're going to flake this fish remove the head and then we'll just remove the bones so that when you're eating the vegetable no bone will choke your throat <laughs> so remove the head and then we just jettison that or throw it away um trying to flex my english certificate all right so we're just gonna throw it away like so and then remove the bones more like we're flaking the fish but you're not going to make it very very small so that at least if anybody is eating they can still have something tangible to eat and let me tell you pala is a very very nutritious fish oh. i know that a lot of people look down on this fish but this fish eh, go and google it go and check the nutritional value of this fish you'll be shocked that even your beef and all this your big, big man meat and all these things they don't get nutritional value rich pala pala has a lot of nutritional benefits okay so forget this is the only this is the major protein that we'll be using for this recipe no meats maybe pomo will act as a substitute but this is like the protein gong gong for the recipe all right now moving on we're going to be using some pomo like i said we got our pomo two for one thousand so i've shared it into five pieces and we're just going to shred this into smaller pieces like this shred it into smaller pieces like this okay two for one thousand naira mm -hmm. so you're going to shred it into smaller pieces like this if you watch my introduction video you will see where i listed the price of all the things that we got so this promo should be around 200 naira ish aha uh -huh. so we're just gonna set that aside this is the remaining one for the other soups and this is the one we'll be using now this crayfish we got all of this for 500 naira so i'm just going to share it into five places so that when i'm doing when i'm cooking all the recipes i can use them easily i think it was about a cup or so i can't remember i'm not so sure but this one was for 500 naira and then i'm going to be using it in five places so you are doing the mathematics you are doing the calculation mm -hmm. this should should not cost more than 2k now this is our pepper all of this pepper like this we got it for 1200 naira so because this is the soup that will require plenty tomatoes i'm going to use most of the tomatoes and the pepper for this let me just say that i use most tomato and pepper for this recipe and then these onions we got all of this for 200 naira so i'll be using one in this recipe so this is the pepper budget for this recipe so let's just say this is 500 naira or 200 naira pepper rather we're going to blend our pepper into a semi-smooth consistency and we're going to add our palm oil this whole palm oil was gotten for 750 naira so we're just going to be using it in this recipe this is what we're going to be using for the all five recipes and this locust pins was gotten for a hundred naira now you're going to add some of that onion so we chopped it we're going to fry it until it is well fried and then we're going to add her orushirishi protein not really much uh, our panla and our pomo because like i said this is a budget soup i don't want to say sakpa because god forbid that <laughs> okay so now we're going to add our blended pepper our crayfish yeah we're just gonna add it i had seasoning and salt at home so we do not factor that into this recipe and into our pricing because this is something that you know most people have in their homes a little bit of salt a little bit of seasoning here and there you can just use it in your soup now cover this and allow it to fry a bit so that the flavor of this fish eh, can release itself into this soup you can see that it's looking again it's looking delicious it's looking yummy 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 uh -huh. now we're going to add a uh, blanched a4 at this point you want to add this and at this point we're not doing any covering again because one thing i've noticed about cooking a foil is that once you have added your fo you don't need to cover it again i feel like covering it might change the color apart from just overcooking it one of the things that does not make your fo look 
green even after vibrantly green and still fresh after cooking it is because number one some people overcook their effort and number two some people cover it after they have um after they want to add it to their base so don't cover your effort at this point to cook just leave it like just leave it open let it cook for about three to five minutes don't worry if it is a bit stiff effort usually release water in the in the stew so don't worry you see that after a while now the water will come out and it will be a little bit jiggly jiggly so after you want to cook this for about three to five minutes and then our efori roll is ready this soup costs one five ish 2k so this is a very very affordable and budget friendly soup watch out for the next episodes to see all all the soups that we'll be cooking for ten thousand naira. we're cooking five soups for ten thousand naira. i'll be packing this and then i'll just store it this soup should be able to serve a family of four moderately and um how do i put it now not covetous contented people <laughs> okay so just pair it with any swallow of your choice and you're good to go thank you so much for watching till this time i'll see you tomorrow for the next one bye hi faves welcome to day two of our low budget soup series and in today's video we're going to be making a la la sekbo also known as okra soup this is very simple and easy to make you're going to love it this okra i'm cutting right now was cutting for 500 naira at an open market that is the advantages of buying your things in bulk you get them for lower prices and cheaper prices now the head of the okra will not be thrown away because i'll be blending it to improve the viscosity of my okra now we're going to open our pot and then we're going to of course light our gas because why not we're going to be adding some water to the pot and then we'll add our blended pepper the pepper was gotten for 200 naira like i said buy your ingredients in bulk so that they can be much more this is the head of the okra that has been blended and i'm going to mix it together to combine i'll cover this and allow this to boil once it has boiled i'll be adding my chopped okra at this point okay you just want to throw in your okra like so you can use anything to blend your okra i like to use my hand that's the texture i prefer but you can use a food processor if that's what you have i'll be adding my panla fish four pieces which i got for 600 naira my 100 naira crayfish and then seasoning and salt that i have in my house now i'm going to add my pomo which i got for 200 naira i'll mix all of this together to combine and as you can see soup done they come together what are you saying you don't need to have big meats and uh, all this big big protein before you can enjoy soup and panla fish is also very nutritional too so what is the what is the what is the what is the buzz about i'm going to be adding my palm oil now the budget for the palm oil is 150 i got the whole bottle for 750 and i'll be using it to cook five soups so now i'm just going to mix in that palm oil with the okra and this is already looking good already looking yummy already looking fantastic if you have very hot eba that's eh? that is very very hot just pair it with this but i also like to add some bitter leaf to my okra so i had this we have this bitter leaf plant in my garden i'll be in my house so i'll be cutting this one for free and then i'll just make sure that i rinse it very well i wash it until it is very very it's no longer bitter yes if you can get free bitter leaf lucky you okay so i'll just be adding this bitter leaf into that okra now what this does is that eh, it, if you taste this okra now eh, you will not feel the effect of the bitter leaf but when you taste it the next day or more you will almost lick your fingers because the bitter leaf will just balance the taste of that okra and it'll just be bitter sweet and very very nice now mix this together allow it to cook for a bit and our okra soup is ready now i want you to tell me in the comment section what will you be pairing with this please let me know in the comment section type it in the comment section for me and then look at this okra now it's giving everything it needs to give forget about sakpa what is sakpa i'll be storing this and then we'll probably eat it later or something did you do the calculation 
how much do you think we spent for this recipe please let me know in the comment section look at how slimy how lush and delicious looking my okra is like i said the best swallow for this is a babo i don't want to impose my choice on you so i want you to tell me what swallow do you think would be the best to to be paired with this yummy pot of deliciousness please let me know in the comment section please if you are not subscribed to my youtube channel please subscribe like this video share it to your friends and your family and you can find this helpful don't worry i'll be leaving a detailed market list in the description box our third recipe is a dick icon soup and this is the water leaf we'll be using we got it for 200 naira. don't forget so we're just going to clean the water leaf now and as i have seen the water leaf might be too much so i'll be leaving out some of it for another recipe so now we're just going to cut our water leaves into smaller sizes like this for afang soup or edika ikon soup the secret to getting the best look is to make sure that your water leaf is thinly sliced do not slice your water leaf big big so that's what i'm trying to do of course i cannot slice like the woman the women in the market but i'm trying my best okay so yeah you just want to cut your water leaf like this and make sure that it is tiny Once we are done with our water leaf, we are going to proceed to our pepper. This pepper is estimated to be 200 naira and the crayfish is about 100 naira. So you are just going to blend it together like this to form a good consistency or a smooth consistency here. Yeah. Just going to keep blending it and once you are done blending, we are going to start cooking now. Open your pot and then add our panda. Like I said, four pieces of panla is 600 naira. My pomo is 200 naira. I'll add my pepper at this point, seasoning and salt. I did not factor that into this recipe because I have it at home. Everyone, most people do have like seasoning and salt at home, yeah? So, okay, maybe that's where I did the ojuru, but ah, you have seasoning and salt at home now, don't you, babes? <laughs> okay so i'm just going to mix it together to combine like this mix all that seasoning to combine and then i'm going to cover it and let it cook for a while after a while i would open up the pot and this is what has happened i will add my palm oil the budget for this recipe is 150 palm oil so i'll just mix everything together and make sure that it forms like a stew base kind of something like that that's the vibe we're going for here look at that stew basey vibe uh -huh. that is what we are going for okay now that this has been well mixed and it is not so watery anymore i'm going to add some of that water leaf into the pot like i said i didn't finish it so you would see me use the remaining water leaf in another recipe in this series so i'll add that water leaf into the pot then i'll add my periwinkle the periwinkle was gotten for 500 naira i like to call it unsam though <laughs> and i do not like to use that open one i love this one that you have to suck that sucking gives me so much joy i love it so much so after the water leaf has cooked for about five minutes i covered it for five minutes i'll open up my pot and then i'll mix all the I'll mix the insam and the water leaf together and everything to form a good relationship. You can see me mixing it gently because I don't want to scatter the fish. At least if I'm not going to have big protein, let us have a visible protein. Now I'm adding my ugu. I got the ugu for 300 naira. So yes, so I'm just going to add the ugu at this point and then mix everything together. I think I can soup no pass like this. So hmm, I'm telling you, you don't have to have a lot of money to enjoy your life you can still enjoy your life even with the little you have this series is specially targeted for students or low income earners or just anybody self that you know you're trying to manage and navigate your way through this nigerian economy 
just follow these recipes go to an open market and buy your ingredients in bulk and you'll be able to scale through like this you cannot buy somewhere close to your house and expect to get all these ingredients for the same price that's what i would say now i'll add a little bit more palm oil to give you that final touch that final taste just like you would do for afangye and then i'll allow the palm oil to cook in the stew i'll be in our soup and this is what we are having now our edikai corn soup is ready bring your yellow gari bring your fufu bring your pounded yam bring your semu bring your pupuru whichever one you think goes best please let me know in the comment section this is how it looks and trust me when i say it tastes even better it tastes even better like it tastes even better so yeah i hope you have learned a thing or two in this series i hope you have learned a thing or two in this video and i want you to implement it too if you are a student and you are trying to manage money you don't want to spend too much watch this video share it to your friends your family members and your enemies i'm sure they're going to find it helpful please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and i got to beg you subscribe like this video and let more people see it if you find it beneficial yeah i'm just packing it and then um, i'll let it i'll take it somewhere else at this point cuz i'm not ready to eat it now and i'm just making this for teaching purposes yes so not like i'll not eat my thing of course i'm going to eat it and what i made it <laughs> okay so once i have done packing it i'll just let this rest and set it aside and now let's move on to our next recipe can you guess what we'll be cooking next look at how yummy it looks mm, it's so delicious you should try this let's move on to the next recipe the fourth recipe we'll be making is this egusi and water leaf soup it is so delicious so tasty and so yummy in fact i even showed you how to make lumpy egusi in this video so watch till the end so that you can see how to make it this is our water leaf from the edikai kon this is our egusi we got it for 800 naira onion for 100 naira as well this is our pepper portion 200 naira and um yeah our onions this is our seasoning and salt this is a fish that has been doing wonder 600 naira kwanla uh, 200 naira pomo and some of that onions chopped now let's cook we we'll add our palm oil to our pot and then you want the palm oil to eat up a bit okay just like when you want to fry anything just add your palm oil like this you need to leave it for some time to just you know get its magic on once your palm oil is well eaten, now we're going to introduce our protein. The only protein we have been using for this recipe, our panla. We want to fry this until it is golden brown. This is to ensure that it does not scatter and it stays as warm and also release its flavor into that oil. Because remember, we don't have any meat stock, chicken stock, whatever to cook this meal. So once the panla is well fried, that's the fish, we'll take it out of the oil like you can see me do and then we'll just set it aside and move on with our recipe okay that one's scattered but but awesome. anyways after taking this out we're going to add our chopped onions at this point you want to fry that into you know to just fry it up like that i won't say saute because this oil is quite much so yeah we're frying that and once that is well fried you want to add your blended pepper we would have blended our pepper at this point and then we're just going to add it to the mix we'll add our seasoning and salt and then we'll mix it together to combine and you can already see that this is looking good already okay so to our egusi we blended it to add some seasoning and salt some pureed onions and we're going to mix it together thoroughly to combine like this okay you want to mix that thoroughly to combine once this is well mixed yeah we're going to be adding this into our stew base in bits you want to fry this until it has like lumps yeah you want to make lumpy eggs if we're not making lumpy eggs we can just dump the whole thing in there like so but because we want to make the egusi lumpy we'll add it in tiny portions like this if you notice i did not allow the base that's the pepper and everything to get really dry 
there is still some liquid in that base this is such that the egusi has time to cook with those liquid and it does not burn very quickly so that's the idea behind not making the pepper base too dry before adding the egusi in lumps like this i hope you understand um, i did not allow the base to be so dry so once i'm done adding the egusi i will now chop my water leaf into smaller pieces like this just the same way i did from our id kai kong i'm not going to make it so big or so ridiculously large just tiny tiny like that like you can see me to just cut it if you don't have water leaf available you can just keep this process but you know we're making five nigerian soups with ten thousand naira. okay so yeah this is the magic that i am performing in my kitchen and yes you can also do this too simple ingredients simple taste and the taste is going to come out really delicious and so yummy everyone is going to love it and ask you for more this was this egusi was so so nice like in terms of taste just pair it with a bar hey god that big it was just slapping it was giving everything that he required and needed to give okay so i'm just going to take my water leaf now i'm going to take it out of the chopping board and move on to the next thing on the item of our cooking so the next thing is to check on our egusi that has been cooking i'm just going to flip it over a bit because i do not want to scatter it now this is me being irresponsible i am using iron spoon in a non-sticky pot please do not do this this is totally irresponsible but i didn't have anything else that could go in so easily like this i had bigger spoons closer to me so please do not do this you you can use sorry you can use plastic spoons if that's what you have if you notice i had to change it to a wooden spoon because yes i need to be responsible now that our egusi has formed lump like this you can see the lumps are already formed we just want to shake it together and then we're going to go in with our crayfish powder okay and then we're also going to add our pomo at this point you can see the pomo is small but god pass on <laughs> we'll mix all of this together to combine just mix 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 like this to combine and you know everything is already looking set all set to go all set to go but we'll add some water because this is too thick and we need a little bit of water to cook this and make it jiggly 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 okay so we'll mix the water in and then we'll be covering this because you want your egusi to cook properly mm -hmm. if your egusi is not well cooked if the emc eh, can cause serious problems so now that we are sure that the egusi is well cooked and you know given everything that it needs to give now the next step is to add our panla to that pot of egusi hey this is already tassoing. <laughs> okay, so once we had the pan to it, we're going to add our water leaf at this point. And then we're going to add a little bit of salt to this water leaf. The salt is optional, but come on. Just small salt. Small. Just add it and then cover it and for like five minutes to six. And once it is well covered, open it up and then mix it together with the egusi. Hmm. Um, if you try this one then nobody's even going to know that you used three kb two kb how much to cook your you see nobody's gonna know they're not gonna know how would they know hmm? nobody's gonna know how would they know okay so now just add a little bit more water to this because this is quite thick too thick and you know it to get thicker so just add a little bit more water allow that water to cook in that egusi and this is what you have my faves pair this with some cold deba from yesterday oh more this one bang i hope you'll be trying this recipe i hope this series is benefit has been beneficiary i'll be beneficent to you because look at the kind of recipes we are churning out for way less like the kind of recipes we are churning out for small money uh -uh. Omo, we try now she will not try see that's a goosey as the popery oh forget that level this one not the correct deal this one not the obonga deal 
look at our panla looking all set to go all set to go <laughs> okay so this is the final result here yeah. tell me what you'll be pairing with this one in the comment section i'm just flaunting my goosey because why not <laughs> i can't so please let me flaunt it and let's move on to the next recipe which is the final one the final recipe in this series is definitely ogbono soup hey yo look at how slimy that is ogbono was gotten for 750 crayfish for 100 naira so now that's what i have at home pepper for 200 naira panla and pomo 800 naira and then we also have yeah the pepper for 200 naira and then water that is free from my house palm oil for 150 okay let's cook so we're going to light our gas of course and then open our pot we're going to add our blended pepper we have blended the pepper with some water and then we're going to cover the pot place our palm oil on top of that pot so that it can eat up you know because it's a recipe now we are managing gas so once the water and the pepper has boiled we'll add the panla and the pomo at this point and then we're gonna add some crayfish powder to this to flavor it thank god for crayfish it's going to give it a very nice taste then we'll add our seasoning and salt at this point mix everything to combine the combination yeah this was so good you should definitely try this and watch till the end now that our palm oil has been eaten up we're going to add it to the obono and then we're going to mix it together to combine the combination let it combine we're going to mix that thoroughly like this and you know it's looking well lumpy at this point but you want to mix it up so that there are no more lumps in your obono okay so you want your will not to be lump free right so keep mixing keep mixing mix 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 so i want to make sure that all that palm oil is out of that place because you know nothing has to waste once you have mixed thoroughly until there are no more lumps we're going to transfer it now to our boiling pot of protein we're going to add it in bits like this into the pot and then just let that <clears throat> sit there like so all right just let us sit there like so once you add the obono to the boiling protein it's not going to start cooking immediately you don't think that once you add the obono to the protein it will start cooking immediately like, like just leave it let it you know let it cook a bit it might not draw immediately what I meant to say that once you add your bono to the protein, it's not going to start drawing immediately. It might not draw immediately, but it's going to eventually draw, okay? So just let it cook. Once it is well cooked, you will see that your bono will start drawing. Don't mind that bono. You can add any, uh, maybe water if you feel like your bono is too thick. But I feel like this is the best consistency for my bono soup. And look at that. It's already bubbling. No? It's already giving that viscosity that ogono ik vibe and that's it all as simple as that our ogono soup is ready you see can you see that very yummy very delicious very tantalizing thank you so much for watching this recipe faves i hope you do try this recipe please subscribe to my youtube channel i'll see you in my next video bye for now